So, dear friends, good evening. I am pleased to welcome all of you. I'm really grateful that you have participated in our inclusivity and inclusive conference. It's one of the few conferences of this type that has been held in Ukraine and that is solely dedicated to the inclusive sector of arts and culture of Ukraine. We're working in the contemporary art sphere and we're trying to follow certain developing scenarios for the inclusive arts in Ukraine. Throughout our conference we have had a goal to bring up as many thoughts as possible that will help us to support one another, enforce one another, to enrich our experience and to share this experience with the artists with disability who are creating the cultural and artistic product and to talk to one another to learn more about inclusive sector, not only about the inclusive cultural product but also about people who are producing this product. My name is Roman Gons, I am the project manager of the Ukrainian Cultural Foundation and I am working on the inclusive arts project. So today in the framework of our conference I would like to tell you a little bit on some of the peculiarities and some of the details of the work of the UCF that will help you to continue in developing inclusive arts in Ukraine and I do hope that those details and peculiarities will help you to will help you uh, to get inspired to continue a building cultural product and if you have been waiting for some kind of sign that would tell you that you now have to start your know, active cultural and artistic activities then consider it's a sign so you can see our nice presentation it's available for you I'm going to show you the information on the slides I'm going to comment those there's going to be some let us put it this way dry data and figures we cannot survive without without that but still I'm going to give um, additional information to those dry figures so that the information that will help you and help us from the side of UCF to continue in creating cultural products and inclus inclusive cultural product as well so let us start the overall introduction with what Ukrainian Cultural Foundation is it's a state an establishment that has been created in 2017 that has been basically the administrator of those artistic ideas and creative foundings on one hand and the state budget from one on the other hand which the state money that would like to be used for developing art and culture in Ukraine when the Ukrainian Cultural Foundation has been created at the very beginning of this existence it was not presupposed uh, to have many different programs in the framework of the foundation that would clarify the cultural desires of the citizens of Ukraine and many cultural operators of Ukraine. When we have been monitoring and researching the cultural sphere of Ukraine, our professionals in UCF has noticed that almost more than 20% of all of the queries that we had applications that we've had and most of those creative ideas were more or less connected to inclusive arts and culture in Ukraine that is why we had an organic idea a natural idea which we implemented that we have to implement a sole program that is titled inclusive arts starting from 2019 this program has drawn into power drawn into activity and that's actually it fully fulfill the idea of it. We are collecting multiple applications every year and we're basically processing and supporting a huge number of those applications, so around 40-50 projects average. We support by state's budgeting to implement those ideas, to implement the ideas that happen. We all would like to now discuss the program of Ukrainian Cultural Foundation that is called Inclusive Arts. Speaking of this program, that basically that this program has been processed together with the experts from the British Council, so we've tried with our professionals, we've tried to engage European experience and we know that the British experience is a certain brand in the spheres of how to create those events in systematic, in creating a systemic approach to inclusive artistic products and to inclusivity sector in Ukraine. 
It's not just that this program has been created together with our international friends, we have to identify some of the main priorities, the main guidelines that we're expecting to see from the cultural operators of Ukraine. And I will tell you that we successfully see that in the artistic sector of Ukraine. This is the active participation of the people with disability for the cultural and artistic life of people in Ukraine. This is an idea to engage the huge number of artists who would create the enough number of inclusive products who would, that would be competitive. This is basically the main the main idea of the inclusive arts overall. The overall budget of this program is 30 million grievances. The that this budget has been allocated 10 million each to the three main direction and each of the direction offers you this, this budget opportunities engaging new people or already the sustainable and developed cultural operators in the sphere of inclusive arts in Ukraine. And I would like to, if I may, discuss the three main direction of the inclusive arts. Direction number one, supporting the artist with disabilities. Uh, direction number two, inclusive cultural product. And as, as you can see in our presentation, direction number three, inclusive society. The inclusive art, these are, those are the main goals for the inclusive arts program. And I would like to elaborate on some certain goals uh, that we haven't mentioned more. Uh, first of all, this is about integration of inclusive artistic practices into the cultural environment of Ukraine. Even though there are many stereotypic and biased sorts, that inclusive sphere is only about ramps, is only about improving the mobility of the low mobility populations of Ukraine. Except for all of those ideas and thoughts, I would like to emphasize as well that the artist with disability not only have the opportunity that they, but equally with other artists of Ukraine, they can create competitive pro cultural projects. And we understand that our state loses a lot when we're not considering the artists with disability as the potential artists and cultural operators, when we do not consider their impact on the arts of Ukraine. So one of the goals for the UCF and specifically the inclusive arts program is to to raise the awareness among the broader population that the artists with disability can provide competitive cultural products. Another priority that I would like to outline is improving the respect for the rights of the people with disability in the society. It is very hard throughout our everyday life and everyday activity to allocate your thoughts and allocate your desires for the development of the inclusive sphere of Ukraine in the broader understanding of it, in the broader sense of it. But when we're seeing that in reality, when we see the successfully implemented projects and products that have been created with the support or by people with disability and other groups of population that are dealing with inclusive products, then of course the average citizens will get a closer understanding that this topic is not about as not about inclusivity itself or exclusivity. We understand that the program is mostly dealing with taking down the barriers between those stereotypes, between this division between people without disability or people with disability. So we are talking about inclusion itself. So ideally we would like to make Ukrainian society inclusive through artistic measures, through cultural measures. We would like to make it as such so an average Ukrainian citizen would not differ between inclusive arts and arts to actually include the inclusive project into the artistic sphere of our state in our times. So basically those are the main priorities that we are trying to fulfill. Speaking on the sectoral support that we have, so the sectoral support in the inclusive art, they are very broad. This is one of the benefits of our program. 
because basically any kind of idea that you have, cultural, artistic idea that you have, you might implement in the framework of this program if you will identify certain engagement of the people with disability or you will define the certain narration, certain story, certain plot line on developing the inclusive society in Ukraine. Some of the technical details that will also help you to follow the application form if you have seen my presentation and you have haven't discussed this presentation you would like to implement all of those technical details they're available for you in the instruction for the UCF so please consider those those are also important moment for the slide those are some of the moments I haven't mentioned yet so support the artist with disability at this moment, I would like to say that this direction will be applicable for the people who are doubting whether the society can support their, can appraise their cultural product, whether they will be heard. Maybe there can be the people with a disability or maybe there can be other categories of population who are also included into the notion of the development of the um, inclusive society and this direction is going to develop the vision, cultural and artistic vision of these people so that you can engage more people with a disability in order to develop the cultural sphere in Ukraine. Direction number two, the direction number two, this is the inclusive cultural product. Um, this is the cultural product that is mostly directed into creating a certain, a certain association with uh, people of the artists in Ukraine where we represent both the artists with disability and artists without disability that is about co-creating co-creating of some certain artistic products so we would take down the barriers between the artists with disability and the artists without disability in order to provide the Ukrainian society with the idea of creating competitive artistic products of the artists with or without disability so this direct is basically creating the synergy, cultural synergy in Ukrainian society. Direction number three, um, exclusive society, we, what we see here and what we can also identify here, you can get the information or the information, the information of the clearer sense of the about the potential cultural operators and this direction is going to have a tighter connection uh, of the mutual understanding and high quality artistic product for the broader and broader audience of Ukraine. So we are bonding bend to create the accessible conditions for both social and artistic planes for the development of culture in Ukraine and in classic culture as well. So we should dedicate additional attention to the main products of this direction. Uh, they are very general overall because if you'll have any additional ideas and if you'll have any additional cultural product that you would like to apply to as well, you can as well implement it with the support of the UCF. You can see that those are mentioned about the inclusive festival, inclusive library, media platform, creative space or informational campaign. So basically those are very void or general products but that is also can be for the benefit of the potential cultural operators because that gives them a lot of freedom to implement a lot of freedom to implement their ideas and the practice in order to develop the inclusive society in Ukraine. So that's this basically this direction is going to be following the mission of not the specific small targeted explosions of the specific operators, but for them to be implementing the pride artistic project directed to inclusivity. Direction number three is going to be covering not only the tolerance of the society, but also is bringing out the right to have the space for the implementing of the for the ex for exercising the rights of people with disability, but also creating a big manifesto of the cultural and artistic sphere of people in Ukraine that would not only socially cohere the Ukrainian population, but creating the high quality inclusive artistic products or developing artists with disability in Ukraine will raise the interest and awareness of to the sphere of the broader audience and will engage potential cultural operators in Ukraine overall and the UCF would be 
would become a certain regulator and would support, potentially support her quality products and projects in Ukraine that would develop the inclusive sphere in our state. To wrap up, I would like to make a brief conclusion saying that in the main projects of the UCF, and I hope it's not going to be sound very idealistic or too naive, what we are planning, we would like to see that each and every program of UCF would engage the artist and the cultural operator that will not be afraid to re-implement their thoughts, implement their ideas. It doesn't matter whether they are people with or without disability. I will want them to be able to implement their programs within the framework of the programs of UCF or outside of it. We really would like to see that inclusion is a really thorough, it's really broad perspective for all of the Ukrainian society, if, as the UCF is trying to do. We want inclusion to be main priority for all of the people, doesn't matter whether they are artists, what doesn't matter whether they are artists with or without disability, doesn't matter if they are cultural operators or they are just people working in different sectors of economy who have many different any different ideas about it. We understand that the inclusion in this idea is going to be a factor of high priority and UCF is moving in this direction and we do hope that with your support this mission is going to be successfully implemented at some point of time. Thank you very much dear friends, we'll keep hoping for the further collaboration.